Hello everyone, we are from True Maths and in this video we are going to solve question number 5th of exercise 13.2 and the question says a vessel is in the form of an inverted cone its height is 8 cm and the radius of its top which is open is 5 cm it is filled with water up to the brim when lead shot each of which is a sphere of radius 0.5 cm are dropped into the vessel one fourth of the water flows out you have to find the number of lead shot drop in the vessel now it is given that uh, in a cone is given to you and this is completely filled with water And when lead shot, which are basically spherical balls, if spherical balls are dropped into this vessel, some amount of water is flown out. Now, these kind of questions are very important because here we need to use the concept of physics means it looks like this is a question of maths but to solve this question we need to use a funda which we have studied in physics that is Archimedes principle okay now what what does Archimedes principle says if a container is filled with water completely filled with water and if I place something into this vessel some water is flown out and the Archimedes principle says the water flown out, the volume of this water flown out will be equals to the volume of these things which I have dropped or you can say which I have put inside this vessel. So here by Archimedes principle one thing is very clear that the number of these spares, the lead shots are put in, into this uh, vessel the volume of those lead shots the volume of lead shot will be equals to the volume of water flown out this is clear with the help of Archimedes principle now Obviously the lead shots are spherical and there are number of lead shot which we have placed inside this container and the volume of all these will be uh, means uh, the all lead shot will be of same size so the volume of uh, lead shot will be the volume of spare and there are n numbers of spare inside this container so I if I, I have to find the volume of these lead shots I can find the volume of one spare multiplied by the number of spares which are present inside this vessel and this will be equal to the volume of flown out that is equal to it is given that the one fourth of the water is flown out okay it is given here the one fourth of the water flown out so obviously the container is a, is in the shape of a cone so the one fourth volume of this cone will be flown out so that will be one fourth of volume of cone and uh, if I have to find the number of lead shots so I need to find this n that will be equals to one by four volume of cone divided by volume of spare okay uh, this is completely divis divided by this uh, 4 is 1 upon 4 is with the volume of this cone now by this one thing we, we have concluded is if you want to find number the if the question says you need to find the number 
for finding the number always you have to divide bigger by smaller now this is the formula for us if the question is talking about the volume you need to divide bigger volume by smaller volume if the question is talking about the area you need to divide bigger area by smaller area if i am saying that this is a room and you have to find out the number of tiles that can be placed over here so you need to find the number of tiles for that you need to divide bigger area divided by smaller area so obviously the bigger area will be of the room and the smaller area will be of the tile similarly here you need to find the number of lead shots so you need to divide the bigger volume by smaller volume so obviously the bigger volume will be of that water which we have flown out and the smaller value will be of one spare that is volume of spare so this is how you can solve this now instead of solving this i need to remember this formula now okay and if i know the volume formula to find out the volume of the cone that is 1 upon 3 pi r square h this is the volume of the cone upon the volume of the sphere uh, the radius of the cone can be considered as r and the volume of the sphere will be 4 upon 3 pi r cube so the radius will be cube now if i can if i can solve these values i'll get my answer uh this can be written as 1 upon 4 multiplied by 1 upon 3 multiplied by pi r square h and this value when shifted to the uh when uh, shifted in the numerator this will gets reciprocal means this will become 3 upon 4 multiplied by pi r cube and uh, here the radius of this cone will be greater than now this 3 can be cancel with this 3 pi can be cancel with this pi now if you want to further solve this this will become 1 upon 4 multiplied by r square h is multiplied by 1 upon 4 multiplied by r q now this value can be written as this now i can substitute the values here 1 upon 4 this capital r is the radius of this this is the radius of this uh, cone which is given to as 5 cm this will be 5 multiplied by 5 and the height of this cone is given to you as 8 cm multiplied by 1 upon 4 and the radius the small r is the radius for the sphere and the radius is given to us 0.5 cm so this will be 0.5 multiplied by 0.5 multiplied by 0.5 0.5 is multiplied by uh, multiplied three times so i can write this 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5 and if i re remove the decimal i can write three times in the numerator now this can be cancel two times again this can be cancelled two times and this can cancel five times five can be cancelled with five and these two fives can be cancelled with these two fives so 10 multiplied by 10 which is 100 will be the number of lead shots which has been dropped into this vessel so that one fourth of the water is flown out so this is how you can solve this particular question this is the important formula and i have show, uh, shown you how this formula is formed okay i hope you have you understood how to solve this question if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and if you have any problem in maths you can directly contact to us the phone number the email address and the whatsapp number is given below in the description thank you